I'm Roz and I was the first children's worker in the refuges in Wales. I started work in 1979. It was very interesting times. I was a qualified social worker. I went for an interview in Cate's with Cardiff Women's Aid. It was quite funny really because I didn't really at that time know anything much about the feminist movement and my interview letter was signed in Sisterhood. So I actually thought I was going to be interviewed by nuns. How wrong could I be? I had to be interviewed by the women in the refuge and the children. Then I was shortlisted and two of us had to take the children out. It was going to be the children and the women who had the final decision about who was appointed. So that was very nerve-wracking and luckily the children and the women chose me. So I worked there for just short of three years. It is the best job I've ever had. I absolutely loved it because I was really given quite a lot of opportunities to be quite creative and develop the job. So there was three of us working at the time and we divided all the chores between us. So I could literally be cleaning toilets, I could be sorting through black bags of donations, I could be having a meeting with the housing department to try and get women rehoused from the refuge. And the school holidays and evenings and weekends was obviously my busiest time. So we had lots of activities actually in the refuge. We dedicated one of the rooms to a playroom. So that was great fun, making that sort of child friendly, getting donations of toys and equipment because we, we really didn't have much funding back then. And taking the children out. And I think we did lots of different activities, as you might imagine. But the most famous one, I think, the legendary one, was when I took a group of children in the minibus to Mid Wales and we all stayed in a teepee for a week. We just had such fun. Every day we went out on trips and we went boating, horse riding, orienteering, barn dancing, you know, the whole lot. We did that three years running. We got to know the children really well. It was fabulous. Obviously schooling was another big issue for the children so I had very good contacts with all the schools and the local nurseries and playgroups. I had very good connections with health visitors and then we did fundraising so that took us to lots of different directions. And one of the other things that I remember that I really loved was once a year all the women from the refuges and all the staff and volunteers would get together in Bilth Wells for a weekend conference and obviously in, due to lack of money we couldn't fund people to stay in bed and breakfast so everybody slept in the church hall and you know it was just bonkers because we had just sleeping bags all in a row and again that was such a wonderful experience of just women being together and then I would help to run the crash for the children so that the women could attend different workshops and so on. And then we'd have a wonderful sing-song in the evening, people bringing guitars. It was so special. And another thing that I did was support women who'd left the refuge because the children had enjoyed the activities within the refuge so much that we agreed it, we couldn't then exclude them. So that was really lovely. And we helped women set up home in communities in and around Cardiff. Some women did go back to the abusive partner um, but many women established themselves in new communities, new homes, and it was just lovely to see them thrive, really. It did surprise me sometimes, you know, some women came from beautiful homes. Well, a lot of women came from beautiful homes, and they were prepared to live in this pretty dive of a house just because they knew that they were safe. I remember once we were having a house meeting, and there was a, a knock on the door, and it was clearly a man who was shouting, you know, I know you're in there, I know you're in there. One of my colleagues, I never forgot, she was so amazing because she quickly borrowed somebody's dressing gown, put it on, had a cigarette in her mouth and went to the door and said, what are you doing banging on my door, mate? And he went, I know my wife's in here. I know this is a refuge. And she went, oh, no, it isn't. I'm fed up of people coming here. People come from the local pub and they just get lost. And he went and we were all sitting quiet as a mouse in the back room and then we applauded her. You know, there are so many stories, so many. I think the best thing for me was the children, just working with the children. And some children were so frightened when they came into the refuge, understandably. You know, some families had to actually share a bedroom. So the lack of privacy, 
And I think for the teenagers particularly, that was very difficult. So I did quite a lot of work with the teenagers. You know, sometimes I get stopped in the street and people say, I don't know if you remember me, but I was in the refuge. They were talking 39 years ago. That's incredible. And, and I have maintained contact with one or two of the children who were in the refuge as well, who are now in their 50s, which makes me feel incredibly old. But they, again, they look back. They, yeah, they recognise it was tough. It was tough, all sharing that house. But they remember all the really good times that we had and that sense of camaraderie and support. Yeah. One other thing that's kind of a bit legendary was Christmas and the Christmas parties that we had with the, the children and the women. And I was encouraged to dress up as Mother Christmas as opposed to Father Christmas, quite rightly. And I used to visit all the families that had left dressed up as Mother Christmas. And you know that, was, that became a bit of a thing every year. And in fact, one of my friends that I made at the time from Women's Aid, she still refers to me as Mother Christmas and she still brings me a little gift every year and it says, to Mother Christmas. So, you know, that's kind of another thing that, that has just stayed forever. It's been a pleasure looking back. You forget, and then when you actually focus your mind on all the wonderful things that what we did and that we achieved and helped women move on, brilliant.